नेक्स्ट फिफ्थ प्रॉब्लम फाइंड द इक्वेशन एंड लेंथ ऑफ लेंथ ऑफ द कॉमन कार्ड कॉमन कार्ड ऑफ द टू सर्किल्स ऑफ द टू सर्किल्स एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर प्लस टू एक्स प्लस टू वाई प्लस वन इज इक्वल जीरो एंड एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर प्लस फोर एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई प्लस टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो ओके फर्स्ट रीड द प्रॉब्लम ओके आई होप सो यू मैट हैव गॉन थ्रू द प्रॉब्लम सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम equations of two circles are given we have to find out equation to the common chord of both the circles and length of that common chord we have to find out so that means it's very simple suppose the first equation of the circle is s is equal to 0 second equation of the circle is s dash is equal to 0 then s minus s dash is equal to 0 gives us equation to the common chord as we know the common chord in the previous episodes we have discussed center of the any circle and radius of the any circle we have to find out center of the circle perpendicular distance from center to the common chord we have to find out that is d radius is small r then length of the chord is given by 2 root of That is d square minus r r square. Am I correct? Okay. I hope you might have followed the method. Okay. Let us do the problem now. See these two circles. First, write down given circles. Given circles. One is s is equal to. x square plus y square plus 2x plus 2y plus 1 is equal to 0 second one is s dash x square plus y square plus 4x plus 3y plus 2 is equal to 0 so let us find out center of the first circuit no problem c1 That is minus one comma minus one. Radius of the first circle, say r, root of one plus one minus one. One one cancel one. Just you keep like this. Let the circles be like this. They intersect like this. This is the common chord. At a, at b, this length we have to evaluate, and equation also we have to find out. Say this is s is equal to zero. This s dash is equal to zero. Just let us make a strategy here. This is the center of the first circle, C one. Join this one. This will be the radius. So perpendicular drop the. This is a d. Perpendicular distance. So this a b is given by two root of sorry r r square minus d square r square minus d square. Okay. first let us find out equation to the common chord 
common chord is given by s minus s dash is equal to 0 or s dash minus s is equal to 0. Here any restriction is there that is very very important while writing s minus s dash is equal to 0 directly we should not write it. So, s and s dash both must be in general form. In general form means x square coefficient, y square coefficient must be equal to unity only, then only we have to apply. Otherwise, we have to change them into x square coefficient and y square coefficient, we have to make them unity, then we have to write. Otherwise, you will not get it a, you will not get a straight line, understood. So, now s minus s dash is equal to 0, let us apply. Here s is x square plus y square plus 2 x plus 2 y plus 1 and minus x square plus y square plus 4 x plus 3 y plus 2 is equal to 0. So, let us remove the brackets. So, now x square plus y square plus 2 x plus 2 y plus 1 minus x square minus y square minus 4 x minus 3 y minus 2 is equal to 0, x square y square cancel, x square y square cancel. Now, minus 4 x plus 2 x minus 2 x minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. So, this is nothing but 2 x plus y plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, in order to find out the length of this common chord, let us find out d value. d is equal to perpendicular distance from c 1 minus 1 comma minus 1 to 2 x plus y plus 1 is equal to 0. That is modulus of minus 2 minus 1 plus 1 by root over 4 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 cancel. Okay? Are you checking? So, this is equal to 2 divided by root 5 units. This is d value. Now, let us come to the final value here length of the common chord length of the common chord is equal to 2 root of r square minus d square because r is greater than d in this case so, this is equal to 2 root of r square radius square is 1 minus this becomes 4 by 5. This is 2 root of 5 minus 4 by 5 that is 2 by root 5 units. This is the answer. Okay. I hope you might have followed. This is also one of the important problems. So, because we have we are discussing only important problems, but every problem you have to do the one similar problem that should be extracted from your textbook or any reference book or previous examples.